For this video podcast, I'm going to take a look at the random number generator on the TI-84 graphing calculator. And one of the things you may have noticed as a teacher is that if you have your students randomly generate numbers on their calculator, they might be getting the exact same list of numbers. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to start by taking the number 24, and I'm going to store it in the random number generator on my calculator. It's actually a pseudo random number generator, but it needs an initial seed value. So I'm going to seed it with the number 24, and I've actually done this um, on the calculator that I have beside my computer as well. Stored the no number 24 into the random number generator. So now I'm going to go to math, probability, option 5, and I'm going to generate random numbers from 1 to 6. This would be simulating rolling a fair six-sided die. So here we have 6 and then 4 and then three. And so I'm just hitting enter each time and it's generating the list of numbers. And on my calculator I also have six, four, and three. And now two. And now I'm going to predict the next uh, four numbers are going to be three, one, six, six. So three, one, six, six, and then a one. So the reason I know what's coming up is because the calculator that I have on my emulator on my computer screen and my actual graphing calculator were seeded with the exact same value. And if your students are coming up with the exact same list of random numbers, it's because their calculators are set with the exact same seed value, most likely the seed value that was set by TI in the factory when their calculators were manufactured or if they had to reset the calculators uh, and erase the memory, um, maybe for a science class um, or another math class then their calculators once again will start with the exact same seed value for the pseudo random number generator program that's within the calculator. So what I recommend to my students is that they all enter a value that's unique to them. Maybe their locker number, maybe um, their phone number, and that way they won't get the exact same list. Yes, this list of numbers is random uh, in and of itself. However, to have two students generate the exact same list of numbers in the exact same order doesn't feel very random. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out here is that under the math probability menu, we have a random integer command called random integer no repeat. And what this is going to do is randomly generate numbers from 1 to whatever, let's say 1 through 7, um, without there being any repeats. In other words, this is to simulate maybe taking seven ping pong balls, numbering them 1 through 7, mixing them up in a hat, pulling out one of them, recording the number, pulling out the next one, recording the number, and so on, until there's no numbers left in the hat. So each value is going to occur from 1 to 7 is going to occur exactly once. So that's the random integer no repeat uh, command.